I've got two problems. Alright, I've got a lot more than two problems. But two I might be able to fix using this giant bin. Look at how big it is. Uh, yeah, it's so small. Let's have a look. Okay, it looks a little bit bigger inside. So what are the two problems? Firstly, I'd like to check to see if my Wi-Fi is working. We live out here in the bush and the Wi-Fi drops out constantly and we look at each other and go, is it us, is it them? So I'd like to be able to check the chain between the devices that we've got and the internet via the router, that's one thing. The second thing is I never know which bin to put out. So, um, oh, this goes back away, UWA, about 20 years I've had this looking for a project. Um, yeah, so we never know what bin to put out. And unless you look at the neighbours or you look at the dysfunctional website that the local council have got, uh, it's pretty hard to find out. So this is my idea. I put maybe, well, actually, let's have a look at, let's have a look at it on paper. So I'm going to go with an ESP32, and in particular, I want to look at the ESP32 S3, which is from Seed Studios the uh, in the Shower series. So this video is sponsored by Seed Studios. They sent me some of these modules to evaluate and to use in projects, and this one seems like it's a, a, a good fit for this. The plan is for the shower to check to see if it's got a connection to the router, uh, so that's pretty important, is Wi-Fi up, but more importantly to ping the internet. And uh, wow, look at the size of Tasmania. That can't be right. And there's a giant cloud over the Northern Hemisphere and there's no Antarctica. Well, some of that is true. But anyway, we want to see if this connection is okay as well. Uh, so can it ping, let's say, Google? If Google's out, then I guess the internet's out. And also, it might be nice to know the time and hence the date and day of the week. And then what I'll do is, um, if the day of the week is, uh, let's say, bin day, then it should tell me via either a green LED, which is also doubling up as a power light, so it'll always be on. And the green bin does always go out week by week. Or the addition of a yellow LED to say that recycling is up. And then if that's the case, because this doesn't have an awful lot of uh, GPIOs, it'll go out via a shift register to a bar graph and tell me uh, what's going on. And I think that that should be about it with all the bits and pieces that we've got. Um, so I'll make up a little uh, home-baked PCB. Let's get the bin over this side. And, uh, oh, that's not good. Let's put the bin over this side. <laughs> there we go. And, uh, yeah, there's a little bar graph. So that's uh, eight segments so this thing's telling a lie with seven segments um i've got a little uh array resistor array here for for the uh, output and or input of the um of the bar graph and got a little okay so that's about the right size uh, adapter for the um shift register in case i guess that there's a failure i can pull it out and replace it um there's our uh shower so that's the uh esp 32s3 and it's got a cute little um uh, antenna on as well which i think might contain a sticky so it could be could stick it on the inside of the bin um yeah so let's uh let's start building this up and uh and then we'll test it so i've just started this really uh not very far down the track but had another thought on the code let's have a look at that go back to the original diagram and just thinking about, well, originally I was thinking about the code for this as just coming on on a green week and then maybe just turning on at the appropriate time. And then I thought about a switch on here that you could flick, whether it's green or yellow. But then I haven't had much of experience with, but I was going to give it a try to maybe have this operate not just in station mode, um, but also in AP mode. So station and AP, so access point so that I could log in, I don't even know if this is possible, and have an HTML page, which says maybe a couple of radio buttons here, which says green and yellow, and then that would set it for that week and it would just go through there. In case there's any changes to the council service or uh, you happen to start it up or restart it or whatever, um, 
I mean, the other thing too is that it'd be, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but it'd be really nice, and this is a lot of aspects to this project, if you could access uh, e EEPROM and save the value of the yellow or green in case there is a uh, power interruption. So that's the plan. Let's get back to soldering this guy up. Bit of a testing time then, so that's the first one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Three point three volts. This is this is a three thirty ohm uh, resistor array coming out the other side. Uh, might need a mountain of hot glue to make it uh, physically um, more robust, but at least the electrical connections are working. Yes, thank you to those who have been screaming away in the background. I did get out a 7-pin adapter for an 8-pin chip. Hilarious! Uh, and didn't even allow enough uh, space on the end to adapt it if I need to, but I did find that this 4-pin adapter with the pins on the end taken out, so it'll actually seat uh, in the PCB, works pretty well. I've checked the conductivity and uh, it's fine. It looks ugly. It's an abomination, but we'll keep going. Now just testing at the moment, signal strength looks pretty good. I'm just going to shut it off at the router to see if it complains. So let's do that. And yep, that looks like that's working okay. And I'll just reinstate it from the uh, band list. Yeah, that's nice. The other thing I want to do is uh, put on the recycling light. So I'm just going to enter that. And the yellow light should come on, and it does. So yeah, testing looks good. I'll throw it in the bin and that is the, um, that's the final product looking pretty good at the moment. Pretty much tested everything at this stage. Just need to put this in the bin. Um, and I'm thinking maybe putting this maybe down a bit lower and then having the, uh, the LEDs here as eyes. So, and I'll, just to be worried about how brittle this plastic is too. So I thought I might tape it and mark it out and then use the Dremel and the, uh, the smaller drill and the bigger drill to uh, punch the holes in it. So let's see how that goes. Yeah, it fits in pretty well, which is nice. And on the front, uh, we've got our bar graph and our two eyes, a little hot glue mess because, you know, it's me. Um, I might put some footage up here of me walking around showing that this bar graph actually does change in relation to signal strength. And I was able to test most of the other features as well. For instance, uh, I was able to test when there's a problem between the ESP32 S3 and the router, between the router and the internet, and between the, uh, the ESP32 and via the router, the server, uh, for the time. You know, I guess if with a bit more time and if I could be bothered, I'd probably change the nature of the flashing so that I know by looking at it what the problem is. But I don't think it's such a huge issue, really. Uh, I was able to check the EEPROM. So if it's a yellow LED indicating a recycling week and there's a power failure, then when the power is restored, it comes back to being yellow, which is nice. Uh, I was able to access the HTML. I'm still fiddling around with this. If you have a look at the code on the blog, and um, yeah, highly encourage you to go along and have a look at it, then you'll see that this is part of the sketch itself. And I have been fiddling around the last 24 hours or so with putting these separate HTML files, CSS files, and even picture files uh, on the uh, ESP32 itself. And that's via what's called spiffs. 
um, which sounds rude, it isn't, um, but it's a file system which enables you to actually upload to the, um, to the device itself these files separately to be accessed by the program. So that's pretty cool. I think I'll keep playing with that. That's, um, that's not so bad. Uh, the shift register is working fine so that we can indicate the Wi-Fi strength on the bar graph and, of course, the flashing when there's an issue. So I will call that the circuit working for this week. Neat little device. Should come in handy. Uh, <laughs> if I get the bins wrong from now on, it's my fault. See you next time.